Hi, my name is Michal and in this video I will show you how self-service simulations for SAP S4HANA work. This concept enables everyone involved in an SAP S4HANA project to test the system. Not just testers or developers with specific skills and tools, but also business consultants and even end users. The goal is to make testing as simple as possible using a user-friendly chatbot that interacts with you in a natural language. You can access this chatbot via a web application or a computer on your mobile device, allowing testing anytime, anywhere. This is made possible by INT4 Suite, which virtualizes external systems and provides REST API that can be consumed by the chatbot or any other application. Users can search for the data, execute test cases and create new objects, all without direct access and knowledge about SAP. Imagine a typical scenario during system integration or user acceptance test. You message the testing team through a communicator or send an email, asking them to create, for instance, a new order to validate something in a system. If you're lucky, you might get a response in a few minutes, but more often it could take hours or even days, especially in big S4HANA programs that involve teams spread across different time zones. Now, imagine how much easier it would be if Instead of relying on someone else, you could simply message the bot through the same tool and it would handle the request instantly. This approach caters to different roles. A developer can send a new message to the integration platform to test the features he's implementing, while a functional consultant can create a document to, to check if the master data is configured correctly in the SAP S4HANA backend. Sounds too good to be true? Let's ask the chatbot what it can do. So let's open INT4 chatbot and start a conversation with a simple hello. The bot responds, of course. Now, let's say I'm a new user who doesn't know which test cases are available. I can ask the bot to list them for me. After a moment, the bot presents a list of tests he found in the INT4 suite repository. As you can see, there are various test cases designed to create different business documents in the SAP system. Let's say I want to create a new delivery. To do this, I will click the Show Menu button. The bot then offers me two options. I can either view the recent results for the test case or execute it right now. I want to create a fresh delivery in the system, so I will click on the Execute test case. The bot is thinking. And after a few seconds, I receive a confirmation that the test case was executed. This means that INT4 Suite has virtualized the external system and created a new delivery in SAP. The delivery is displayed on the screen. And now I can either copy it and check in the SAP system whether everything looks fine, or I can click to view the more detail about the test run in a full report generated by INT4 Suite. All of this was done without even logging into SAP or having knowledge about how the delivery interface works. Okay, that was a simple case where we just reused a reference data without even touching it. But what if a more advanced user wants to customize the test with a specific values, like creating an order for a particular vendor? The bot is capable of understanding basic commands. So, to execute a specific test, I will tell the bot the test case number by typing it. The bot then asks for the vendor number. I will click on the vendor field and then enter the specific vendor I want to use. Now the bot has all the required inputs and asks INT4 Suite to create a new order for me. After a few seconds, I got detailed information about the test run. The bot confirms that a new sales order has been created for the vendor I selected. OK, that was a brief demo of how self-service simulations work. The chatbot we used was built with SAP Conversational AI technology, but thanks to the API exposed by INT4 Suite, it can be built on any platform your organization uses, whether it's Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Slack or any other communicator. What's even better is that you're not limited to text interactions. You can use your voice commands to tell the chatbot what you want. And for those who prefer working with files like, for instance, Excel spreadsheets, you can simply upload the file and the chatbot will read the data and run the test. No typing needed. 
I hope this video gave you a fresh perspective on how testing in SAP S4HANA projects can be done. Innovations like this not only shorten testing times and save costs, but also they empower different users and make testing more enjoyable. Happy testing and thanks for watching!